I am fine, Mr. Jeffries. No, you most certainly are. I am Grant from Screen Rant. I'm very excited to talk about The Dead Don't Hurt. Uh, I watched it the other day and it's such a powerful film from start to finish. What was it about Big O's script and vision for your character that really sparked your interest to be a part of the film? Yeah, I mean, initially, just the fact that I could have been working with Vigo and Vicky was like uh, already kind of enough for me to want to do the film. Um, and he, so yeah, Vigo called me up and he gave me, um, he kind of said, oh yeah, man, I'm going to send you the script. There's a role in it I think you'd be great for. Um, if you hate the script, then just let me know. And I was like, yeah, all right. I'll, uh, I'm, I'm not really going to write back to Vigo Mortensen and tell him that his script is shared, you know. So he was like, yeah, okay. But the script was amazing. And I mean, the role he wanted me to do was just so much bigger than I expected. And um, yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how big the role was and how much of an absolute psychopath he was as well. So that was another, I was like, this is going to be a fun challenge to kind of play this guy. So yeah, many things drew me. So a lot of actors talk about how much fun they have getting to sort of let loose and play a psychopathic character like Weston. But I'm curious, you know, what what did you find was one of the keys to really nailing that sort of villainous uh, persona that he carries with him throughout this film? I mean, I think the key, like anything with any character, you know, good or bad, psycho or not, that you need to find something that you can empathize with you know, as the actor that's, who's, who's playing them. I mean, and for Weston, it was like, I don't know how many redeeming factors there are really, and there's, if any. So I kind of moved on to trying to find any moments of vulnerability that I could kind of use and abuse to like basically delve into his psyche a little bit as the reason why he is how he is. Um, and there was a specific scene with him and his father, Alfred Jeffries where you see kind of a confrontation and you see this, you see Weston as a character who up to this point has been the most kind of intense, like strong character on screen in this film. And then suddenly he's kind of a little bit of a puppy. He doesn't really know what to do. He's He can't really break out of this grasp that his father has on him. And that for me as an actor gave me enough to delve into that part and kind of build on the stuff that had happened to him maybe when he was younger, the relationship, you know, where's his mother? Did he lose her? Is that the reason why he's so enamored by the and all of this kind of stuff started to play? And I was like, amazing, cool. So I think finding a truth like that really helps when you, even when you're playing the most crazy characters, because then you can ground it in that place and just build on the insaneness from there, you know? <laughs> Well, I love how many layers, <clears throat> excuse me, Vigo put for every character in this film. And I love that. Scene yeah, he really did. The, the confrontation between you and Garrett. So uh, I, I'm glad that you were able to get to do that. Now, speaking yeah. of confrontations, though, you and Vicky have, or Vivienne, I should say, have a pretty heated one uh, <laughs> in the middle of the movie. And, you know, <clears throat> as I'm curious what that was like for you working with her on that scene and really finding the, the the coordination and the the rhythm with that while still making sure that you both felt you know safe and grounded in that scene yeah i mean i think the fact that we sh we didn't shoot it you know towards the start we were kind of halfway through filming maybe even towards the end um at the time that we shot it which definitely helped just for me and vicky as people because we got to know each other and we could be more comfortable in that sense and again there was definitely like a vibe on set it was more tense than other days um but I think that was a good thing, to be honest. I think people kind of were feeling like that because they knew how sensitive of a scene it was and how just like wary they were of kind of making sure that the right things were being done to make sure everyone felt comfortable and stuff like that, which is what needs to happen all the time on the film sets, you know? So it was, yeah, it was intense and it was obviously a horrible thing to shoot. But again, like we, me and Vicky kind of spoke and we just kind of went for it. We were like, this is how it is. Let's, we know who we're playing. We know who we are, you know, Solly and Vicky, let's just go for it and then touch base every now and then, you know, when the camera cuts. Um, so yeah, all in all, it was, it was fairly unproblematic to be fair. It was just that it was, it was what it was really. 
Well, I'm glad that it proved to be so collaborative between you and Vicky, as well as nice and comfortable, uh, despite the uncomfortability of the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a powerful scene, you know, it's an incredibly powerful scene. So it works well. It was, it was needed, I think. Absolutely. And so you, you've mentioned the character or uh, finding the layers of the characters. And one thing I find so intriguing about this movie is uh, that it's non-chronological. It's told out of order. And I'm curious mm. how for you, I mean, obviously most productions do that, but for you as an actor, how did that sort of factor into how you found this character? Well, yeah, it was quite, it was quite fun switching from, you know, menace, murderer, psychopath to charming, genuine seeming kind of guy which is what some scenes he's like a lovely guy in which is really weird to see and because because we knew from the start that this big opening scene was going to take place first that the audience would already just distrust him anytime he was on screen no matter what so it gave way to when i was playing the more hey how's it going here's some manure and stuff like that kind of stuff it was way more vigo was just like just be genuine be like super nice and be real genuine there doesn't have to be any underlying threat there because the threat will come from the perspective of from what people have seen before so those days were quite nice actually and because it was kind of out of sync within the film it's like oh my god what's this guy gonna do like he's so weird and manipulative but for us it was like one of the calmer days on set for sure well, I'm glad that you got to play around with this character in so many different ways. It sounds like a yeah. really rewarding experience for you. And I see I'm out of time, so I will get on out of here. But thank you for taking the time. I truly did love this movie, and I can't wait to get the word out about it. Pleasure, mate. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Take care. Sheriff, we've come to inform you that a great misfortune has befallen our community. 